What is going on, guys? Your boy Joey Shake72 coming to you guys with a video right now. Some updates for the Philadelphia Eagles. So let's get straight into it. What is going on, guys? Your boy Joey Shake72 coming to you guys with a video right now. So some updates for the Philadelphia Eagles. Nothing crazy today, but um, kind of want to talk about a few things and some things I am excited for. First, I want to go over the whole thing with AJ Brown still fighting with. Titans fans and the Titans fans started it once again with him. And this isn't the main news. I want to talk about AJ Brown just in general throughout this whole off season so far. Um, but just talking about AJ Brown, put a tweet out about the weather or something percentage about the weather. And you know, uh, this guy, this Twitter, this, this uh, fan Titans fan on Twitter kind of yelled back at him a little bit because of it. And, um, AJ Brown pretty much said, for the love of God, I was the best receiver to play for your franchise. Shut up and move on. You're mad at the wrong person. <laughs> so, I'm glad that AJ Brown is putting out news, at least towards, at least for the Titans fans. He at least is telling them, look, like, you know, the Titans didn't want to pay me and, you know, what I deserve to get paid. And, and that was it. And that's why I got traded. I didn't want to leave. I think part of it was he didn't want to leave, but he didn't want to be disrespected in what he was going to get paid either. If they were offering him $17 million, he was supposed to get twenty five a year, you know, and that's what he wanted because that's the going rate for wide receivers right now, hence why the Eagles, you know, paid that money and said you got to bring him in here. And, and all really at the end of the day, Jalen Hurts made this trade happen, which I thought it was a great thing. So that's all I really want to say about that. Nothing crazy. But with A.J. Brown, it's been – um. It's been, he's been, he's almost becoming the embodiment of, of Philly. You know, he's really rallying this offense, this team. Um, he's showing to be a really big leader. Like I thought, you know, some veterans that have, you know, good veterans come in here or not really veterans. Cause you know, he's been in the league for a few years, but um, you know, a guy this young and, you know, acts like a veteran and carries himself that way and really just gets this team together and is really showing a lot of praise with, between Philly fans. Not, 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 I'm not even talking about his skill, just what he is as a leader and a person. I think he's, I think he's fantastic. And I think it's going to affect this team in a positive way this year, because I think he's going to hold himself accountable, accountable, and he'll hold everyone else accountable as well if if we're not doing great you know offensively so um you know I thought he you know not not a great OTAs I think Jalen Hurts missed him on a couple throws but I mean it's so early in the process right now I'm not going to nitpick at all that stuff it just to me it makes no sense to me you know I think the chemistry is going to be there they've been working out every single offseason together which we finally found out you know before the draft you know when we saw the pictures of them working out we didn't know they were actually throwing together for a while uh, which was pretty cool so um, AJ Brown is really is impressed me a lot since he's been here and uh, I can't wait to see him in uniform and and ready to go so pretty pretty pumped about it now other news Devon Allen actually had a race in New I think it was in New York City um, and I gotta say man uh, he is Olympic hurdler okay we've talked about this before um, the guy has effort I watched the interview I watched this there's a video clip of it on Twitter as well um, but oh my, he just, he beat the world champion yesterday. <laughs> he beat the world champion. Um, he is third all time. Okay. Third all time, fa third fastest. Okay. In hurdling. Uh, I think it's 110 meters. I got, I think he got what? 12.84, the fastest time. And that's the third fastest. And he was only 0.04 seconds away from being number one and being the fastest, which is kind of crazy. So, um, I watched the whole thing and, and, you know, he looks so determined and, you know, getting a guy that, that plays in the Olympics and, and this guy is a competitor. I mean, that's a hundred percent. You're getting a guy from, uh, an, uh, you're getting an Olympic athlete. You're getting somebody with determination and somebody that's not going to give up. And, you know, that's a great thing. I'm, I'm really happy for it. And, and, you know, the Eagles signed him to a three-year deal which is kind of crazy because when he got signed, we're like, who is this guy? What? And then you kind of find out the news about him and maybe the Eagles liked him that much and said, this guy is definitely going to help this offense or maybe he's going to really be a big contributor on special teams or maybe both because I think with Britton Covey, I think with, you know, uh, Devonta Allen, I think you have, you know, some, some guys that can play offense and, and special teams. And, you know, I think they're going to fill those roles. I think we're finally going to get some good special teams this year. We haven't really had good special teams and since like maybe 2015, since Darren Sproles was really here. I mean, that's how long it has been. 
Uh, but I see the determination, and I see, you know, I can't wait to see this guy play football and what he's going to do. Now, he did miss all the OTAs. Uh, he ended up getting the virus, so he couldn't, you know, he couldn't be there. So that's unfortunate. He missed some valuable time, but he's doing all this stuff. He did this the other day, so um, he must be good. He must be fine, and, um, you know, I'm excited to see what he does, man, that whether he's a punt returner, kick returner, whatever they want to put him in there, I am totally fine with it. Maybe some snaps at wide receiver. We'll see some of that, but he's quick. He's really Really fast he got 4.3 speed um he beat the world champion the other day so you're getting a guy with not only you know not just a guy that's working out in the off season like this guy is a constant worker all year and he gets in these competitions and he's was in the olympics and he'll probably always be in the olympics every year um you know and obviously if he gets a bigger starting role or something happens you know maybe he'll peel away from the olympics a little bit depending if he could do both you know obviously you have to watch out for injury and, and the Eagles don't want him to get injured. Um, but I think this is a fantastic thing. And it was really cool to watch that. I mean, you see them blowing past these guys. I mean, the guy right behind him was the world champion. He just burnt him to shreds. Um, so I'm excited to see what this guy does on the field with a football helmet on and an Eagles uniform. And it should be really exciting. So that's the news on Devonta Allen. And then lastly, you know, Brandon Graham, you know, he says he's coming off the injury very well. I mean, uh, sometimes the coach and Jonathan Gannon has to, you know, even during OTAs, you know, he told Brand Graham to relax on some of these drills because he's going way too, you know, he's going 100% on everything early in the season. Kind of told him to calm down a little bit. Um, but he, he was a big voice missed in that defensive line last year, even for the defense last year. When he was gone, I mean, it just wasn't the same. I mean, you know, I think Fletcher Cox definitely struggled. The defense definitely struggled. And just having him around and not having his voice and his excitement and just, I mean, look what he did to Hassan Reddick. Hassan Reddick uh, says that, you know, Brandon Graham is what Philly's all about. You know, that's, you know, and, and he looks up to him, which is kind of crazy because Hassan Reddick's a vet as well. And um, he represents Philadelphia, and he does. You know, this is the last year on his contract. You know, coming off that Achilles injury at an older age, at 32, whatever he is right now, it's, you know, you got to look out and you got to watch out for it. That's why I have the Eagles going after a defensive end in the draft next year, like probably pronto because, you know, Graham might not be here after this year and you lose a big valuable weapon that's been here for a long time since he was drafted. So, um, you know, I wish him the best and hope, hopefully, thank God, hopefully stays healthy and I, I want him to have a fantastic year. I would like to get, get double digit sacks if he can. He almost did um, at one point, but unfortunately, uh, as long as he gets pressures and he's helping Fletch out and it seems to be working, I'm totally fine with it. I don't care about his, I don't care about the numbers. I'm caring about the pressures more than the sacks really. Cause if he's getting pressure, he's helping out somebody else. Um, you know what I mean? So, uh, very happy for Brandon Graham and hopefully he stays healthy and, and he's good to go start season. So big, big piece we missed last year. And I think at, w him on top of the defense that we already added, uh, other pieces, I think he's going to play very well and, uh, let's hope so. So other than that guy's pretty much it. You guys let me know what you guys think. Uh, about obviously the Brandon Graham stuff, you know, Devonte Allen. I mean, you guys got to be impressed with him and, you know, and then obviously the AJ Brown, what has AJ Brown done for this team so far as in, you know, as he gravitating players towards him is becoming that leader. He's got a big voice guys and it's showing in and he just got in the building, you know, this past year and he's already turning heads right now. So very happy about that. Other than that guys, I'll see you guys on the next one. Shakes what up. Follow slide. Peace out guys. Peace.